Moving on to Syria, the New York Times reports weapons are going to Al-Qaeda in Syria. Most of the arms shipped at the behest of Saudi Arabia and Qatar to supply Syrian rebel groups fighting the government of Bashar al-Assad are going to hardline Islamic jihadists and not to the more secular opposition groups that the West wants to bolster, according to American officials and Mideastern diplomats. In other words, the CIA and the fanatical Wahhabists in Saudi Arabia and Qatar are supporting and arming al-Qaeda much the same way they did in Libya. Well, this is something you're not going to hear talked about tonight, even though the subject in the debate is foreign policy. They'll talk a lot about the phony issues uh, between each other, but the reality is, is that they have no disagreement on foreign policy. Uh, they try to make a, a distinction about how they would execute the foreign policy, but their policy is, they both have the same policy of continuous war for the military industrial complex to keep us focused on something other than what the banks are doing to us domestically. Today, domestically, oral arguments began in a landmark case between Americans for Safe Access and the DEA. In a petition filed back in 2002, the DEA was requested to reclassify marijuana. Currently, it's classified as a Schedule I drug, which means, according to the DEA, that marijuana is a drug with high potential for abuse and no currently accepted medical use and treatment. We know that that is a bold-faced lie. Everyone knows that marijuana has numerous medical benefits. And as re and, and, and Americans for Safe Access put together a petition to the DEA to change the classification of marijuana. But the DEA summarily refused to look at the petition. And that was back in 2002. And the organization has been fighting ever since then to get DEA to examine the petition. But as we've seen with the EPA and other government agencies, uh, it's become very common for government agencies to just ignore their own rules for review and to just do whatever they want to do. They've become extremely imperious. And, and so this case is going to see if the courts will uphold the DEA's own rules. Well, tonight we've got a special treat for you from Joshua Owens, a top 10 finalist in the contests that were held this last summer. And he's done a great job of a music video, exposes the rise of the robots. Here's a quick look at the music video. Don't let them win you over. That's what they're hoping for. They want to shutter your mind and shackle it to the floor. It's not hard to figure out. The lies you're being told, there is a playbook, an agenda, a blueprint, a goal. So open your eyes wide enough to see the target they are aiming for. You're the enemy. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.